and now we are underway. Now that's interesting there immediately. BT opting to up A out of that uh, cave there. I think he might have potentially thought it was a uh, a fee or either he's trying to keep it for a little bit later. I'm not sure what was going on there. Interesting. We see that the small secret's actually worth quite a bit. A 17 rupee small secret, which is normally worth 10 in Vanilla Zelda, and the medium secret being worth 32 rupees, normally worth 30 in Vanilla Zelda. So already we're seeing some good money. A better thing in, compar in comparison to what we saw last time where the large secret was decidedly south of the 100 it normally is. Oh, get this. The penalty today for the door repair charge is the maximum 25 rupees, um, TGE. Ugh. That's awful. And because he said two of them, we see that Shiner CCC just went bankrupt. Well, that's what happens when you answer the Kanana phone. Now, this is an interesting path that Brestigal is taking, not one we normally see a lot of people do. He went up and did all the open caves uh, right around level one and, and took that quick path. And then he opted to screen scroll over into the graveyard section, which he's gonna end up on the same exact set of things that Shiner is, because he found one of the take any roads. And we get the nice little Star Trek re reference where no link has gone before for this particular seed. They're both in those, they're both giving each other high fives in this warp zone. So now we have seen both of the quote unquote Western Armos items. So we now know that the uh, item itself is gonna be in one of the three that are over into the Eastern side of Hyrule. We also have located the magical sword and that is gonna be in the blue item, the blue ring Armos that BT is checking right now. Unbelievable. So, yep, very quick find of the magical sword. Wasn't in a factor in the last race because 12 hearts wasn't enough. So, we'll see what happens in this particular seat. Again, you need anywhere from 10 hearts to 14 hearts to pick it up here in Randomizer. Unfortunately, that's not the sword they're looking for. Yeah, they want to find that wooden sword. But, and sometimes that can be proven to be very elusive. We'll see what happens. I do also want to point out that Shiner just did what uh, I would like to refer to as some sort of a tactical retry because he hit those money seeds and then, oh, <laughs> before we got that though, remember what you said about the ladder? Yes. Did you see what BT just got from that Armos item? That ladder was the Armos item. Can you believe that? Well, that means things are going to be quite interesting because now at this point, BT is in a position where he can just make a beeline for the coast item and hope that it's something good. So now the 64,000 rupee question is, how long is it going to take for Shiner CCC to make a path for that particular Armos? Because the slower it takes him, the more of a disadvantage he's going to have in this race. But well, it looks like he's going to the path up to the northeast first, so it might take him a little while to find it. Yeah, he's looking up the Armos statue here first, but he's going to be disappointed to discover it's not there. BT is heading for vanilla level three and finds. We don't know what it is. Oh, it's a penalty. He's going to up an A. Yeah, don't blame him on that because we all know what happens when you call collect on the Kanana phone. Yeah, you're going to pay big time. And again, 25 rupees. Well, speaking of rupees, price of bombs is the standard price 20 rupees for a set of four. And that gives Shiner uh, some offensive weaponry and a chance to bomb a little bit up here around the northeast, starting with this cave directly south of Vanilla Letter Cave. Finds another secret. Let's see how many rupees he's going to benefit from that. Another 17 rupees. I'll give him 29. That'll buy another four pack of bombs. Yep, absolutely. He's going to head for vanilla money making game to find no money making game this time. Another bomb shop. Who meet 115 rupees? Wow, high rules economy. Not so good in in meats. That's the Kobe beef. Indeed. Another secret found by BT. He's got 96. We've also got a potion shop up in the far northeast. 
where the 100 secret usually is. Yep, so if the, any of these players find a letter, they can exchange that letter for a chance to buy some potions. But again, that's something I wouldn't expect to see either of these players try until late in the game. But some of these players don't even need potions. Yeah, and that's not a potion shop you're going to be going back to anyway, because there's nothing uh, up there. But meet the Moblin by a lake. That is the hint for the magic sword, but we knew that already because we found it. What we're looking for is either the wooden sword or the white sword, neither of what we've found yet. And the price of candles here is 64 rupees, so a little bit above what you'd normally pay in Vanilla Zelda, with the magical seal shield a whopping 168. Ooh, world wrap incoming. What is that coastal item? Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 Oh, it's the Infinity Bottle, oh, and BT's going to be picking it up. No choice. Don't you dare. Oh, oh, you jerk. Oh, oh you jerk. Dared. Oh, it looks like somebody's not going to be rooting for BT this race. Well, if you be To be completely fair, though, after the World Wrap, he really didn't have a choice. He really kind of had to do that. Uh, as much as I hate to see it, it is the right call, especially this early. It's going to help him stun some overworld enemies. As much as I hate to see it. When you have no weapons, you're going to be picking up that boomerang, no matter what kind it is, each and every time. And if you remember, uh, Shiner had that tactical reset, so he does have that uh, 17 rupees at the beginning if you grab a second time. Now, the big interesting thing that we see so far is we found no dungeons. So that tells me there are either a lot of dungeons up in Death Mountain or a lot of dungeons that are burn blocked. Look at the variation of the prices of the hints in that cave. 12 rupees, 32 rupees, 60 rupees. Gonna play the money maker game. He just got burned at BT losing 48 rupees. Shiner losing five. Holy smokes, so both of them trying the money-making game strats and both of them losing big-time Vegas wins. Vegas always wins. Well, Shiner going, looks like he's going to try some uh, money-making strats here. Ooh, in the plus 25. I like this option here, just the save and retry to try and get money for a candle. It's close, it's risky, but considering the full price of Dora Pierce hair, I actually like this play. Yeah, very interesting play. It's nearby, and you don't lose too much time if you get it wrong. He's going to play again. We're going to lose the 10 rupees this time. I'm going to try it again. And he's going to lose again. Oh, speaking of which, hearts are expensive in this seed. Nobody's going to purchase hearts when they're sky high like that. Or Shiner getting all kinds of trolled here by the money making game, losing three sets of ten in a row. This is what happens when you play the slot machines, everybody. You're not going to win a whole lot of the time. Yep, and he just spent all his rupees. He's going to just retry and get his 47 rupees back. But he's he's starting to waste time by doing this. He's got to he's got to think about this. Yeah, but at this point, if he hits the 27 again, uh, 25 again, he can basically buy himself a candle. BT finding a small secret for another 17 rupees. He's got a nice even 20, so he can buy some more bombs. Which he'll probably do in this bomb shop. Good call, TGE does so, and now he's got seven bombs to his credit. Uh, you see uh, Shiner was setting up for the world wrap there, and just as he was about to scroll the screen, he got clipped by a Zola fireball, and the Zola's like, nope, 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 you're taking the long way, pal. Yep, Zolas are not very kind. We see our first dungeon discovery right here. Well, uh, because we see some dark in there, we can confirm it's out of the first level, so this feels like a level six. Pardon me, this is the second dungeon that we've discovered. The first one is unknown at this time. Yep, and that uh, hint there confirms we are in six. Korea grumbles along the coast. That tells us that level seven is going to be somewhere along the coast, which could be right here in this long path. 142 rupees, so a lot of expensive magical shields. 61 rupees for the wooden arrows. Shiner opting to up A there as opposed to paying the collect call fee for the Kananaphone because he desperately is seeking candle. 
hey, BT finds the letter beneath that waterfall, so now he can show that letter and buy some potion if he'd like, but obviously, again, not going to show that letter until much later, if he decides to do it any time. BT uh, ripping off the uh, door repair to collect call charge, but meanwhile, Shiner has gotten to his requisite 64 rupees, so now all he has to do is head directly back to a candle shop, and he will have the first uh, repeatable use item in the game, and I say that because once you have the candle, you can't be taken away. Absolutely, and that's going to be very key in excavating Hyrule, burning down those bushes, and discovering a lot of these levels that might be hidden or some secrets that could be worth big money. Oh, but BT loses at that area, and he's going to have to start over. BT is now going to find the money-making game. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any rupees to play. Yep, you can't play if you don't have any rupees on your side of the board, so he's going to have to look for some money. Shiner did find a shop, just not the shop he was looking for. Now, um, Triple C here does not have the ladder, so if he keeps heading this way, he's going to find out what that coastal item is rather quickly, and there's a good chance he may not pick it up unless he too decides to do the world wrap later on. I mean, I don't see why you would come back. I mean, BT picked up because he was world wrapping and it was there. There was really no way to avoid it considering the way he had to wrap there. But it's not going to be an item you're going to actively come back and take a look for. And, oh, oh, and before he discovers oh. the item, he's bodied too bad. His react I thought he was going to give himself a concussion with that reaction. Uh, we have the video here, and he basically like threw himself backwards like he was flopping into a beanbag chair. You know, speaking of no choice world wraps, that actually happened in another race a while back where Lord Banana was the coastal item and they ended up picking it up because they did the world wrap too. I approve of that wrap and I also approve of finding level nine. Very nice find there for BT, so he doesn't have to go on a wild goose chase looking for level nine later on. So nice find there. Twelve minutes into this race, still no wooden swords, still no bonus caves. Oh, the troll location, the only open cave in Death Mountain has the wooden sword. Ouch! Huge find there for BT. That's going to give him an early advantage again. Plus, he's got that ladder, so he'll be making his way towards some of the dungeons, and it's going to make traveling in Hyrule much easier now. Shiner is still desperately seeking candle, though. Yeah, we saw a candle being 64 rupees. Could, could that candle shop be a rare shop? Oh, speaking of a bonus cave, he's found one. He's going to go ahead and take the heart container. That's an interesting move considering how much he's been searching for the candle. I would have picked the candle there, then it would, I would have immediately gone back one screen north and purchased the arrows. I agree with you. In this stage of the game, you don't know where White Sword is. I would have taken the candle as well, but opts to take the heart container in hopes that maybe four hearts is enough for White Sword. We will see. Potion shop discovery in the graveyard for Shiner. In vanilla level six is an actual dungeon, but it can't be level six because we've already discovered it. Could it be level three? Well, he finds the compass, but he can't do anything else. Yeah, I definitely agree with that there, because we saw Landmolas, and Landmolas mean Wizrobes, and with no weapons, no bombs, no nothing, Landmolas are not where you want to be. Yep, and when there's Wizrobes, there's Pancakes, so this is not going to be a fun dungeon. And yes, it's looking very much like it was level 3. We've got it marked on the map. But now Shiner has got the ladder or will as soon as he hits this armo item. So that's going to give him uh, the option of going back and checking the coast item as well, which at this point you're close enough to it, I would definitely suggest it. And with no sword and no candle, it would be a good pickup at this point. BT is back into level six now.
have no, I do agree with his uh, trying to excavate through six a little bit here. Uh, he does have the sword, which is going to give him a little bit more, uh, the ability to explore a little bit more than Shiner did. BT making effective use of that inferior model and getting a key for his troubles. Oh boy. So that is two Wistrobe dungeons we've seen uh, of the three that we have found so far. So this, this looks like it's, it's shaping up to be a very trolly sea. Yeah, I'm not seeing sub hour in the future of either one of these players. And now Shiner has finally discovered the inferior model, and bad news, he too picks it up and pays the price! And then sh throws a quick little thing on the screen saying, give me them nanners. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen a lot of shenanigans with these bananas already in this tournament, so why not a few more tonight? Uh, I, I approve of anybody willing to put the time in to set something up to, uh, whether it's to troll me specifically or just to have a little fun, I always approve of that. So, and that's the biggest thing you got to remember when we're doing this as we see some more overworld exploration, is this is a tournament, but still the ultimate goal of playing any video game is to just have fun. And to see all of these people just sitting there having fun is great. Huge clue here for BT. The Moblin having a white sword close to start. Big hint there for BT. Especially considering he's got four hearts, he has a 33% chance of finding it. The only problem is, is it's either going to be candle or power bracelet block because we've already explored the rest of the caves near Star. Ah, very good point there. So, another new level discovery here by BT. What do we have here? Two. Level two, indeed. All right. So, what BT is going to be looking for is an item on the ground. It could be just there by itself or they may have to defeat all the enemies in an item drop room. And there finally he finds a candle shop and Shiner picks up that candle so he can start burning those bushes himself. All right, so we did get, just got the hint there in level two, uh, saying that Manhandler threatens at the grave. So if we didn't know it before, which we did, that level that Shiner found was in fact level three. And the other thing of note is you saw BT kill everything in that grid pattern room. Uh, now there are two of those in level two, and here's the second one. So because the first one didn't have a drop, BT knows the second one does. China has found the letter and he has picked it up, so he'll be able to show that off and buy some potions if he chooses to do so later on. Hey, folks, Triforce is in the Triforce room in TGE. That can only mean one thing. Fred! Fred! We also have found the recorder. So a very, very quick two there for BT. As he picks up the recorder, then goes back and picks up the Triforce, and he is in and out of two very quickly. Uh, now, the other thing that we just noticed is we saw Shiner burn those two bushes close to start. There was no white sword there. You know what that means? Power bracelet required. So you said that the recorder was the item in level two. Did he end up picking that up? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, based on the positioning here, it looks like Shiner is in four. I've got him. I've got his volume up just enough that I can hear him. He thinks it's level four as well. Actually, yeah, this kind of reminds me of another scene where the white sword actually ended up being raft blocked once. So, yeah, a power bracelet requirement for the white sword. Not the kind of seed you want to have. An extra 32 rupee pickup there for Shiner. He's got 52. Meanwhile, BT has no rupees at all. Yeah, but BT has the big advantage here. He's got the sword. Yes, indeed. Wow. So, yeah, if uh, Shiner doesn't find that sword soon, which we know the location of, it's in Death Mountain, he could be in trouble very fast.
Shiner opting to save again is to, uh, if he has to retry from finding random shenanigans, he is all set to do that. Yeah, shenanigans indeed. Look at all these Lynels and P-Hats on the screen there. BT making his way around the grave here, utilizing the information he got from level two. Ooh, a uh, free cave here for BT. He is going to go ahead and pick up the candle. I think that's a smart play, given he didn't have one. Oh, yeah, especially 20 minutes in, you're absolutely going to pick up the candle there because you, you needed to explore a good half of the caves in Hyrule. Oh, look at this. Uh, Shiner has found the large secret for the seed. It's worth 86 rupees this time around, so a little less than the normal 100, but still a nice chunk of change. And we have got more Wizrobe, so that is three. Three Wizrobe dungeons we have seen here. This, this looks like level helps. one. I would have to agree with you on this being level one, but three Wizrobe dungeons, that's kind of trolly, and you have to remember... We're guaranteed four because Wizrobes will appear in level nine. Yeah, this is definitely not the seed I would want to be playing if I was either one of these two. My goodness gracious, trolling abounds, and there are those blue Wizrobes. Shiner making the smart play there and noping the heck out of the eagle. Yeah, with no sword, there's nothing you can do against those Wizrobes. No sword, no bombs, absolutely. Because the only two things in the game that will hurt the Wizards are the explosives and the sword. BT finding a small secret as Shiner CCC buys the wooden arrow, so if he finds the bow, he can start shooting away at those Poles voices and Gomas. China heading for vanilla level two and finds a secret. And how many more rupees will he get out of this one? It's going to be 32 rupees. That will give him a total of 94. At this point with the rupees, there are only really three big things left that they can be used for. Uh, saving up for a blue ring, which is obviously going to be the most expensive portion. Uh, saving up to buy some meat for the potential bait block. And my personal favorite use for rupees, arrows. Absolutely. I, I like those arrows as well for the reasons I had just mentioned. Shiner are going to be in and out and grab a really, really fast Triforce here. I don't know if he's going to come back and check this, uh, figure out what this is or not. Yeah, he's in that same level two that BT was in earlier, but the color scheme looks a little bit different on his end. Oh, BT in level four finds the red ring. Boy, what a huge find for BT. That is going to reduce the damage he takes all the way down to one quarter, so rupees won't be a factor for him in terms of trying to purchase a blue ring. Nicely played. Now we've got some wall masters here now. Level four is an interesting cat because four only has two rooms where there are drops where you have to kill enemies. Uh, this Goyak room is one of them. And that's why you're gonna see BT killing enemies, but that's the benefit of level four is if you don't see a drop and you know the drop rooms, you can just you know, peace out and grab everything. And speaking of grabbing things, the compass is a great thing to find. And look at that, the map, compass, and Triforce in three adjacent rooms vertically, and the Triforce being all by itself on the ground. So he'll pick that up. It's his second Triforce piece. Mission accomplished on level four for BT. Shiner coming to the realization that he's going to need the power breaker so to get the white sword after getting the white sword hit on the coast. But I believe the only thing left for him to do is explore Death Mountain because I believe he has explored every other open cave. Ooh, and that is going to, again, hurt him in the long run because... BT picking up the wooden sword so much earlier than he's going to be picking it up. So he's going to be playing catch up for quite a while. He's got to hope that level nine is bad to BT at this point, or perhaps level seven being bad.
And given where the white sword is and whenever they might find it, uh, we got a new level discovery. Maybe this is level eight. It is. Early compass is a huge find, so at least you're not going to be wandering around in the dark. And also finding a staircase. That's also huge. More importantly, said staircase has some bombs. Uh, by, by the way, what you guys see are those links are actually the same uh, figure as the Dark Nuts because since Shiner CCC is playing as a Dark Nut, that means his swap, his sprite is swapped with the links. So the Dark Nuts are actually going to be links in his race. BT going to have a little bit easier time exploring level one here because he has access to a sword. All right, so what BT is going to be looking for are two items. One that's going to be in the diamond staircase room, and the other is going to be on the ground. It could be in there by itself, it could be consumed within an enemy, or he may have to clear an entire room to pick up the item. Oh, look at this! The wizard room's guarding the magical key! That's insane! Almost as if you planned that to happen, too. Wow, unbelievable find. That is going to give BT a huge advantage in this race. My goodness. Uh, still missing the two major items, the bow and the silver arrows, but getting a magic key in red ring, quote unquote, early, that is a gigantic advantage for BT. So now the only two things are gonna, he's going to be looking for are the Triforce, speaking of which he's found the compass, and that second item. Who knows what that second item might be? Could this be a jackpot level one or what? We'll find out. Shiner finding more money, but he was hoping to find the uh, sword. However, BT has picked up a heart container. That'll give him five, and a 30 or 66 percent theoretical chance of finding white sword but we know that white sword is in a very inconvenient spot well of course that could be uh, a moot point if the second item here in one is the power bracelet yeah that's true we find that the blue ring price is the standard 250 rupees and meat uh, isn't 60 rupees the standard price of meat too yes it is wow fred We have found the item, the other item in level one. It is the raft. Yeah, that's going to be, it's an item that you're never disappointed to find, but you're never happy to find, if that makes sense. Because there's only two screens on all of Hyrule that are raft blocked. And when they're raft blocked, you're happy to find it. But it's one of those situations where, meh, you can take it or leave it. Yeah, you pretty much have to pick up the raft because you just never know whenever that seed is going to be raft required. So when you see that raft, you're not really happy to find it, but you got to pick it up. And so Shiner buying some hints, and he got a trolley hint saying great power is such a lie in the book, but more importantly, the 12 rupee hint telling him that if he wants the white sword, he's going to have to make his way through level six because Goma creeps with the power bracelet. Gliok works with the red ring, so now he knows the knowledge that the red ring is in level four. Ooh, BT finding a huge secret for 86 rupees. And then immediately gives 25 of it back as he finds a uh, door repair. Now, strategically speaking, door repairs aren't what you're looking to find right now. No, because uh, you want to try and buy some arrows, you want to try and buy some bait. I mean, you just never know what's going to be required. Finding the other hint cave, 55, 15, and 14 are the prices of these hints. I'm going to buy the 15 rupee, oh, but that's just a community hint. Nothing there. He's going to go back and purchase another hint. I'm going to guess he's going to go for the 14 rupee hint next. That's what he does. And Manhandla threatens with the heart container. So now we know that the item in level three is going to be the heart container. Yeah, and, the, and the thing for, the, for people who might not have uh, ever seen it before, uh, there are two sets of hints that we have in this game. There are the helpful hints and the community hints. 
So you're going to always see the community hints, which are these trolly little messages, and those are always going to be in all the shops because it's no fun just to hear them say, buy something, will ya? Uh, Ooh, double unfortunate there for Shatter. He purchased a 55 rupee hint, but that was just another community hint, and then he just took a death near where he needed to go for Wooden Sword. Now, back to the hints, uh, when you find them either in the levels or in, uh, in the overworld when you buy them, there's a 50% chance that they're going to be helpful hints, and there's a 50% chance they're going to be the trolling community hints. And TG! Of- raft required! <laughs> ah! So, remember what I said about BT being uh, upset to find the raft? Well, I lied. He's very happy he found it now. And look at that super easy Triforce! My goodness gracious, bombing some Dodongos to find the early Triforce, but he's going to be looking for that item. Where are we? Seven. Oh, level seven with some. We have seen some wall masters with the level seven, but uh, when there's wall masters, I don't think there's going to be whiz robes. No, no, there is definitely not going to be whiz robes. So if there's any consolation, at least this isn't the trolliest level seven you could think of. No, I mean, especially with that easy Triforce, the only problem is we're still missing bow and silver arrows, so that means excavating is definitely going to be a thing here. However, the good news is you know how there's a bunch of enemies that are always going to be the same, whether it's Patras or Dodongos. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is going to be one of the easiest level sevens I have ever seen. Walk in, get the Triforce, like three or four rooms up on a basic path that you're going to take most of the time is the bow. That's huge. You'll never see an easier level seven than that, folks. But as I was mentioning, the level seven has a lot of those um, those enemies. Like, oh, and speaking of which, the wooden sword has finally been discovered by Shiner 32 minutes into the seed. Now, as I was trying to say, um, so you'll see a lot of those um, small bosses like the Dodongos or Dig Doggers or Patras or whatever. Seeing a lot of Dig Doggers is really going to help you in a level seven like this because you can easily farm for bombs with them. I think you mean the Donkos. Finding lots of Dig Doggers is never good. <laughs> that is true. Exactly. BT checking out Vanilla Level 4 with the Raft and finding... Oh, a bonus cave, so he'll go ahead and I would have believe pick up the heart container. That'll give him six. Speaking of six, that's where we are currently, I believe. Right on Shiner's side. Nope. Are we? I'm lost again. You and me both, TGE, but we'll figure it out. Okay, we are in six, because there's that heart container. Yep, and those whiz robes and pancakes just waiting for him. Down to half a heart. Can he grab that heart container? He does. But now, uh, taking a look at things with uh, BT being back in 8, considering all the stuff that he has found, there is a potential, if things continue to be uh, as uh, beneficial as they have been, that BT, with the skill level he possesses, this could be a sub-hour C. Very well. It depends where the silver arrows are, but instead he finds a corridor which is just going to take him to another part of the dungeon, and ooh, down goes Shiner there. Now, with being in level 8, just because BT has the compass and knows where the Triforce is located, he's definitely going to search around because there's two items to find here. That's right, TGE. And both of these two items are going to be found in staircases. And, oh, not quite the one-hit kill on that troll handler. He'll have to wood sort it, but not a problem as he finds a useless key, though. And not just staircases, but specifically the diamond staircases because... When BT took that spiral staircase, it took him to the corridor. So he's specifically looking for two diamond staircases. Ooh, and once again, Shiner getting bodied in the same room as before. He'll have to try it again. I like Shiner's call here of just up aing out of the way and just getting back to that because. With only, uh, you know, six hearts and wood sword, but tackling a wizard rope dungeon isn't what you want to be doing, especially if that's a dungeon that has the potential to be as trolly as six can be. 
You know, speaking of the wood sword, uh, given how the seat is and given that the white sword is power bracelet required, there is a relatively good chance we're going to see some wooden swords in level 9. That's always fun from our perspective because wooden sword makes things in 9 extremely difficult because if you had the magical sword, it deals 4 hit points worth of damage, and that means you only need 4 hits to take out Ganon. Seeing as the wooden sword only deals one hit point of damage, that's 16 hits that you're going to need to take out Ganon. Not to mention the whiz robes, patras, and pancakes that would await him in level 9. So yeah, very fun to see a level 9 with a wooden sword from our vantage point. And BT has found one of the item rooms. It is going to be the book. No, thank you. Yeah, definitely noping it right on up out of there because... Uh, as much as people give the boomerangs flack, at least people are willing to pick up the boomerangs. I don't think anybody is ever willing to pick up the book, unless your name is Lizzie. Yeah, we've seen a few book pickups here and there, but yeah, definitely a more rarer pickup than any of the bananas. And the reason for that, uh, TGE, is when you have the magical wand with that book, the book does give you extra firepower in that it does flame. Oh, speaking of which, the red ring has been found by Shiner. Still flashing the, the give me them nanners uh, uh, text up on the screen. <laughs> Back to the story about the book. Uh, the book, even though it allows you to deal extra damage to your enemies because when it makes contact, it bursts into flames and you can deal more damage with the enemies. It's also a hindrance because you can get hit by those same flames Plus, if it's a short-range weapon, you know, it's not going to be as useful. Plus, you can't do the special technique with those patches by zapping with the magical wand and using your sword. So that's the reason why people don't pick up the book. Yeah, seeing the enter and exit there from Shiner, because unfortunately he got a clock in a wall master room. And because the wall masters have to actually physically make their way out of the wall, when you get a clock, they stop coming out. So you actually have to exit and re-enter in order to get them to uh, continue to spot Bomb upgrades are super expensive in this seat, a whopping 122 rupees to purchase them. If you purchase a bomb upgrade, you'll get an extra two to six bombs. Oh my goodness gracious! BT has now got a gigantic advantage. Well, this now race the, could be over. Yeah, find the silver arrows there. That's the last major item he needed to find. Um, so, yeah, this has sub hour written all over it, assuming, of course, the rest of the dungeons aren't trolling. And, of course, level 9 being what it is, you never know how trolly Ganon or Zelda is going to be, so we'll see. But, yeah, he could be the second player to turn in a sub hour seat in this tournament. We'll find out. Ooh, a nice fight there, and he's rewarded with the Triforce. That's his fifth one. I don't know, opting to make another concerted effort here at level 6, going back in with the red ring, which is going to increase his defensive power by four times. I'm not sure if I agree with this call or not. I think it's really gutsy, but he seems to be dead set on getting that white sword. Yeah, indeed. Um, so right now, the, that, that power bracelet's either going to be in level 5 or level 6 at this point, well, based on the knowledge. Shiner knows it's in 6 because he got a hint telling him Gomo creeps with it. Ah, I did not see that handy. Yeah, very, very good point. Yeah, but he, oh, he is just in all sorts of worlds of pain with those whiz robes and pancakes. He takes another death. We're also getting to that point where uh, BT has the potential of getting to Mags here because Mags is in a fairly easy to get to location. Yeah, he'll need anywhere from 10 to 14 hearts. He's up to 8, so he needs at least two more heart containers for a shot at it. Now, is he going to bite the bait here? Yep, he goes ahead and buys the bait for 60 rupees, because you never know, it might be required in level 9, or in, or perhaps in the levels he's not completed yet. I 100% agree with that purchase here, because he doesn't need to buy a blue ring, doesn't need to buy uh, arrows, because he has silver, so I 100% agree with buying the bait. It's the only possible item that could be stopping Behind Vanilla level 7 is nothing but a shop, so he'll make out a dodge and go elsewhere.
BT now going to opt to head back to level 3, I would presume, because he is right in the general area for that. And the good thing about this is he can just go in, grab the Triforce, and get out. And considering how small level 3 is, if he happens to find the item on the way, he's going to grab it. But I'm pretty sure he's already got the compass, so it's just going to be a quick in and out job here. Yeah, but we know that that item in level 3 is the heart container. So the only use the heart container would be for him is to give him the shot at mags. Now, Shiner had found what could have potentially been one of the item rooms, but unfortunately has a whiz robe spot on top of him, so no item for him. Yeah, these whiz robes are proving to be a menace to Shiner here in level 6. Yes, but let's be honest, when are whiz robes not a menace? Exactly. I don't care who you are, and I don't care if you've got red ring and magical sword. They mean business at all times. Oh, shoot. Yep, we find the horizontal shoot room here for BT. No problems there, though. But only to find more whiz robes and pancakes. And he has found the corridor staircase, so he's going to discover the heart container. We'll see if he makes a play on that to go up to nine hearts. He does. So now if he finds the other heart container that lies within level three, he'll have enough for a shot at mags. Let's see if there's an item behind that staircase. No, sir. The benefit of taking the staircase though is he now knows he's looking for a corridor stair, which gives him information that he cannot enter that room with the corridor stair from the west. So that, uh, Information is definitely good. Now we've seen the corridor staircase be the staircase for the item in a lot of these seeds lately. One we saw earlier and a couple of the ones I had yesterday. There's the map. Obviously doesn't need it. He's making the play for the Triforce right here in this room. We'll have to complete kill these fires first, but it should be an easy fight with bow and arrow. There's the Triforce in the upper left corner. That's the sixth Triforce piece for BT. Yeah, so that is uh, BT with a huge, huge lead and a huge, huge advantage here. Uh, he still has to go back to level 6, which is where you've got Shiner right now, and he still has to go into level 5. Shiner has found the spiral staircase, or the corridor staircase, and finds the power bracelet, so now he'll be able to pick up White Sword guaranteed with his six hearts. All right, but I think that's going to be Shiner's big downfall here. Is he has spent so much time desperately seeking this white sword that it's put him to a point, at least uh, position where he's so far behind. I don't know if he can catch up. Yeah, BT would have to have one of the trolliest signs ever for Shiner CC to catch up. But hey, you never know. BT finding another huge secret, adding to his rupee total. He now has 113. And considering that he only has wooden sword and he may not have magical sword, would you consider picking up a potion for level 9 in BT shoes? I wouldn't go out of my way for it, but if I ran across one, I would do it. Oh, but he's going to lose 25 of those rupees as he finds a door repair penalty. Just a real quick update for those of you who might be late joining us here. I'll uh, give a quick item rundown. Uh, we know most of the items where they're going to be located. We know that the magical key and the raft were in level one. The recorder was in level two. The heart container is in level three. The red ring was in level four. The item in level five we don't know, although we have a chance to find it right now, as BT is currently in level five. Level 6 contained the power bracelet. Level 7, that's right, level 7 contained the bow. Level 8 was the book and the silver arrows. The inferior model was on the coast. The Armos item was the ladder. The three remaining items are the wand, the Lord Banana himself, and the red candle. And now Shiner has finally gotten what he wanted, the white sword. So now he's got double the attack power. But again, it may be just too little too late. But again, level 9 is waiting for BT. If he has to do level 9 with Wooden Sword, I mean, even with his abilities, it's still going to be tough because it can be very trolly.
And BT didn't have to feed the meat there to the uh, hungry gorilla, but he had it, so he might as well. Basically, the reason he's going to do that there is when he has to walk back through the room, he doesn't have to deal with the text again. It's going to save him a couple of seconds. A very smart play, in my opinion, for BT. And he, now he finds the diamond staircase here in level five. What do we have here? It's just another passageway. And because uh, he found the single block room there, he now knows he's searching for another diamond staircase room, like this one he just entered for the item. Oh, we'll see what kind of item we'll find in here. It is going to be the red candle, but since it's so late in the game, red candle has already lost its luster. He'll pass on it. So now we can confirm two items in level nine are the wand and Lord Banana. And this is going to be the, one of those rare seeds where I, I would imagine the wand is going to be skipped. Yeah, very rarely are you going to find someone take the wand when they're in level 9. And there's a Triforce pickup for BT. He's just one Triforce piece away from having to go for level 9. He still Andy. has... Go ahead. Let's say the interesting thing here is BT now knows what items are going to be in level nine. And the, that was an interesting little world wrap. A very interesting world wrap. The screen just reset back to start. Weird. Oh, wrong yeah, warp. That is a wrong warp. Yeah, you can, you, you can uh, mess with the screen by... Uh, usually the wrong warp is achieved by scrolling into the hut. That is the first time I've seen the wrong warp here in this tournament. So, yeah, very nifty move there from BT. Well, it's, it's a fast way to get where he needs to go without uh, compromising his heart. Now, what I was going to point out is uh, uh, BT still only has nine hearts. So, yeah, this could get interesting for a level nine playthrough for BT if he doesn't find a heart container in level six, because he'll have no shot at mags. And he's already got the heart container in level six, because that was two rooms in. That's right. So oof, this could get interesting for level nine, but again, with the high skill that BT has, he still may have not too many problems with it. But the one thing he can do is he can go and get the uh, White Sword, assuming he takes the time to get the Power Bracelet out of six. Yeah, we'll see if he makes a play for that Power Bracelet in level six. Uh, it's going to be one of those situations where if it's on the way, he'll grab it unless he desperately wants the White Sword. BT definitely has the skill to be able to kill Ganon with a Wood Sword. I just don't know if he'd want to because it's you know a tedious process. Yeah, you don't know how far ahead or behind you are on your opponent, so that's another thing that you got to keep in mind when you make these decisions. Now, BT, you see him enter and leave the room for killing the like-likes, and that's because in a room like this, there is what is called a quote-unquote master enemy, or the first one that the priority spawn. And in this case, where it's like-likes, uh, blue and red whiz robes, the like-likes are the priority spawns. There's always going to have to be a like-like spawn, which is an easy way of having to not deal with whiz robes. Shiner has finally found where the Triforce is. It's in the NSU room. He kills the virus and picks up his third Triforce piece. So that is where BT will need to go if he wants that Triforce. And I believe at this point that means the Power Bracelet is going to be on his path to where he wants to go. So he will more than likely be having it, and he should, 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 should be in the key word, have White Sword. We'll see if he goes ahead and does pick up that white sword or that power bracelet ladder. But first, he's got to take care of these blue whiz robes here.
And the reason BT is killing the Wizards here instead of just going north through the key door is because he knows that the single block room in six is one of the three staircase rooms. So he's hoping to get the item out of it. Right now, Shiner's in level one, so he'll discover that magical key and Raft. And of course, he doesn't know it yet, but yep, Raft is required for this seed. And here he is in the room where he's going to find that magical key. Yeah, now this is interesting because the the wrath that you're going to get here at level one is actually required to get the bow. So this is one of those uh, things like the item fetch quests you usually see in like Link's Awakening, where you have to get one item to get you to the next item, to get you to the next item to finally get you the item you need. Yeah, it's like the slogan for the game show Chain Reaction. One word leads to another, or in this case, one item leads to another. Now, thankfully for BDT, he's only trapped in a room with uh, red land molas as opposed to the uh, blue variety because the blue ones are hyperactive little spazzes. Yeah, and they and without a ring, they would deal two hit points of damage. With the red ring, of course, they would only deal a half a heart of damage, but no trouble there for BDT. He's going to bomb some Dodongos here to try and get those bombs back up to eight. Nice kill there. Yeah, getting the double stun with the smoke there. Um, so for those of you who might not know, uh, the Dodonko dislikes smoke hint that you get in the vanilla game is actually a way of telling you that if you can get them caught in the smoke cloud of the bomb without feeding them, they will be stunned, and at that point they are vulnerable to a sword stab. If you kill them in this way, they are 100% of the time going to drop a bomb. And it's mission accomplished for level one. He's got everything he needs. Shiner has captured his fourth Triforce piece, so he will move on. See if he goes for the raft locations first. Went ahead and upped an A. So BT has got his eighth Triforce and uh, didn't get the power bracelet, so looks like we might have, be having a Wood Sword 9. Very fun, and I apologize. No, he did not up an A. He just continued on his path. But yeah, he did not find the power bracelet on his way to the Triforce piece. So yep, this is going to be a very sketchy level nine, and he only has nine hearts to his credit. But again, with BT skill level, he he should he should have not too many problems with it. But again, even I would be very uncomfortable going to level nine with just a mere nine hearts and wooden sword, even with the red ring. Oh, absolutely. And uh, speaking of passing red rings and all that, we've got the red ring, the red links, and the red dark. We've got all bunning into the red background over in level two on Shiner's side. Yes, because again, since he is a dark nut, one of Ganon's minions, his sprite is swapped with the link sprite. So the link acts as the dark nuts for him. Here we go, TGE, Wood Sword Level 9 Hype. Again, I got excited. I saw the dark room directly north of where you started. I want to see the Ganon. Oh, you're going to be disappointed because he's now in a room full of whiz robes and spirits known as Bubbles. Oh, shoot. So I like the play that BT's doing, and this is definitely uh, the strategy that I would definitely be employing, assuming, of course, that I came in a nine with silver arrows. Uh, because what you're looking for here is there are two things you want to find. You're trying to listen for Ganon, and you're trying to see if you find shutter doors that don't open, because, of course, if you kill a room and you have a shutter door that doesn't open, you have found Zelda. Now, the reason BT is going up and down the side here is because if he doesn't hear Ganon, he can eliminate Ganon from being on the right-hand side of the skull. You may have to come back later for Zelda, but it's a huge way to eliminate a lot of places to look relatively easily. Now, of course, this strategy changes when you come in without silver arrows, because if you have the arrows, you can just do this. If you don't have the silver arrows, I'm a proponent of check every staircase you come across and just go from there. Now, since he does have the silver arrows, even with the wooden sword, he can make quick work of a lot of these enemies, but again, he's got to watch his rupee counter. Let's live here together. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is a reference to Castlevania 2. I do not know. I do know that the uh, community hints were discovered, they were designed as a whole. There were two or three streams uh, that we had that was just uh, submitting community hints, and there was also a bunch of them submitted to Fred, so they could be references to all kinds of things. I seem to remember in the final town of Castlevania 2 that that is the message that the lone uh, 
resident of that town says. I, I could be totally wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. We've got our second Patra sighting of level nine. It means there's only three more Patras left that we have not discovered yet. Again, good use of the inferior model to take away those keys. He's going to light up the room and find that it's not a staircase room. And this is a big thing to keep an eye on so far. Uh, BT has, uh, so far, been very lucky with his bombs, but he is going to have to uh, be uh, conservative a little bit with them because he's only got three left, and wizard robes are not going to be very easy for him to kill because he's got the wood sword. And blue wizard robes really love to juke you when you try to bomb them out. Heart container pickup for Shiner. He's now up to eight hearts. Still needs to find four more Triforce pieces. Yeah, at this point, it's looking like it's going to have to take an extremely trolly level nine for Shiner to have any chance at this point. So, of course, uh, BT would be into a location where he is shutter blocked in and has to kill a patcher with a wood sword. Not a place you necessarily want to be. Now we see that uh, Shiner has topped out his wall. He's got the max 255. Ooh. Look at that. The shutter that didn't open. We've got Zelda's location. Now it's just a matter of finding Ganon. Ganon be in this room, perhaps? No. I was getting excited for a little bit, but nothing doing. But yeah, that is a huge, mega huge find there for BT. So all he has to do is find Ganon, get the 16 hits on him, shoot him with the silver arrows, and this race is going to be over. If he finds him quickly, he can still get that sub hour. Shiner, unfortunately, getting all kinds of Wizro bugs there over in level three. Oh, and that cannot feel good. I would not want to be hugged by one of those. Ooh, BT with the double block clip there to uh, get through and get the staircase in the reverse C room. Now, that is a tr trick there that uses the same properties of the regular block clip, but because of the way you have to pass through, you just have to do it twice there. And it, it's also really cool looking, so I love seeing it. Absolutely. Now, we see that uh, BT up in A, he must have realized he was at a dead end. That was a troll staircase. Shiner has picked up the Triforce in level three, so he's got three more Triforce pieces left to go. Now, I am, uh, I got the sound up on BT's uh, screen over on my side here, but he does have some music playing in the background, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to actually listen for Ganon. Hopefully, I can hear it, and if I do, I will let you guys know. Ouch, dead end. He found Zelda's normal room, which means he's going to have to go back. And he can't bomb either to the west or to the south, so he's going to have to pick another path. So it looks like sub hour is out of play in BT's case, but he's still in really good shape to win this race. Killing those wizard robes here in this room, hoping and praying they would give him bomb drops. Unfortunately, they do not. They just take a lot of his health and then leave him with half a heart as he clips through. Finding yet more wizard robes and spike traps, able to avoid them and finds a room full of pancakes. to dodge that room and go into the island room where he finds another Patra. Yeah, he's been here already though, because you, you can see tell that by the uh, bomb hole in the south wall. Indeed. So let's see what kind of play he's going to make next. Oh, the gels got him. Wow. Talk yeah. about a sticky situation. Yeah, it's going to be one of the most sour things you can come up with is spend all this time dodging whiz robes and pancakes and buyers only to have the lowly gel take you out. Yeah, he can't be pleased about what just happened there.
Now we see that Shiner is in level five as BT makes his way back to the shoot room, a heart container for Shiner that gives him nine. Uh, no, Mike, BT has not found Ganon. He does know where Zelda is, however. Huge room drop in. for BT. Huge yes, room indeed. Drop. Yes, indeed, TGE. Very nice. He was down to one bomb. Now he's got five bombs down to four using one. Now, at this point, uh, BT has already eliminated the fact that Ganon is around here, but he's going in here because he's exhausted all of his other options, so there has to be a staircase here that he needs. And we've got to pick up the wand here. And interesting enough, BT's going to pick it up because it's going to give him a little bit more firepower against things such as like likes and Vyres here in this dungeon. It's going to make it so he doesn't have to waste all of his rupees because he does need at least one to kill Ganon. At this point, I think if he would have had White Sword, I think he probably would have dodged the Magical Wand. But having just Wooden Sword, I do like this move that he went ahead and picked up the Magical Wand. Oh, 100%. The only thing he doesn't increase his damage output on is against Wiz Robes. Yeah, Wiz Robes, uh, nothing doing against that Magical Wand. They're immune to the Zappers, but they can sure zap you. Now, uh, Shiner was at 255 rupees, opted to buy the 122 count uh, bomb upgrade, and he's going to get five bombs for his trouble, so it's going to be a little bit more than average, but as we can see, bomb management is going to be crucial and huge, so having more bombs to play with is going to be a gigantic boon for him come level nine. Especially if Ganon proves to be the uh, hide-and-seek champion. And speaking of which, Zelda, that means Zelda has lost this round of hide-and-seek. Ganon wins this round, and quite convincingly so far. By the way, do we have an update on who has won the uh, Crystal Saver race yet against Pierpont? Gotcha. Ooh, that is a huge clock there for BT, because now he can kill these Wizrobes in peace and hope they drop bombs for him. Unfortunately, they're naughty little Wizrobes and don't drop bombs. Of course they don't drop bombs, TGE, because the game knows. Now we have a map there from <clears throat> BT. Now it's not something he necessarily needs, but having the mini map up in the corner does make it a little bit easier to figure out where you are when you're trying to navigate. It also makes our job a little bit easier because now we can say exactly where he is and know, you know, what's going on. In this particular case, I can see the level nine map much clearer. So yep, I can definitely tell where he is. Yep, he's in the far southeastern region of level nine now. Shiner is now back in level 8. So he is now going to have to take this staircase, and there are another two items to find in here, as we determined. Uh, these, of course, are the book, and more importantly, the Silver Arrows. Yep, and right now he's got to take care of these blue Dark Links here. I like that name, calling Dark Nuts Dark Links instead. So, yeah, good call. Got to take care of the last one. Nope, just going to take the staircase now. They're opting to kill the Gliok here because the corridor staircase does, in fact, have a drop in the room. Unfortunately, it's just the map, which is not the drop Shiner was looking for. Ooh, that has got to hurt. And more whiz robes for BT to deal with right here as we are now at the 64-minute mark in this race. But those whiz robes were definitely the best possible option for him because he found the bombs. Yep, and bombs he was running out of, and now he's got four bombs again. Shiner knows the location of the Triforce, but he has not found either of the items, so he's going to make a play on those first. Yeah, and considering he uh, is still looking for both 8 and 7, and he hasn't found the bow or silver arrows yet, he has to delve deep into them because he knows at this point that they have to be pretty much in there. That's right. 